players this upcoming season. They're also talking about a new legislation impacting the team in a pretty big way. Fox 19 Now's Peyton Marshall joins us live from Paycor with that angle of things. We got to keep our guys healthy out there, Peyton. Good morning, guys. Yes, we do got to keep them healthy. And you know what? This legislation, it is a big topic of conversation. But before I really break it down for you guys, I think it is crucial to note that nearly $1 million, I should say taxpayer dollars, just went into building a new turf here inside Paycor Stadium. Now, this is not only for the Bengals players, it was also used to attract the World Cup. Now, what I want you guys to know is the state representative, Rodney Creech, just announced he's going to be holding a press conference in the coming days on House Bill 605, which is a legislation aimed to protect athletes by requiring professional sports stadiums to use natural grass on fields. Now, according to the NFL Players Association, non-contact injuries for NFL players occurred at a higher rate on artificial turf compared to grass during the 2022 regular season. However, I just spoke with Emily, the director of the Bengals Communication, who says this is very much a complex issue as there are synthetic synthetic excuse me surface fields that have lower injury rates than some grass fields and some grass fields that have lower injury rates than some synthetic fields she also added that last season in the nfl the lower extremity injury rate was nearly identical between grass and synthetic surfaces but all this to say it's going to be discussed on tuesday july 30th in the press conference with state representative rodney creech and the nfl players association that presser will kick off at 1030. Now, whether it is grass, synthetic, or hybrid fields, Emily really reinstated that the NFL is committed to ensuring practice and playing surfaces really are as safe as possible. Again, very much a complex issue, and all these aspects will be discussed during that press tour. Again, that's going to be next week, so we're going to keep you guys posted both on air and online. But reporting live outside of Paycor Stadium, I'm Peyton Marshall for Fox 19 Now.